down in the room. Elgebert do two talks back to back. Um, the first one is about uh, yeah, it's Dutch basisbeveiliging, basic uh, security. And uh, Elger, please take it away. Right, Give it up for Elger. Thank you very much for having me, Dimitri. Um, I've been looking forward to this talk. Um, there's a, some special news that I want to share. Um, so it will be a short talk. talk um, and uh, I tried to do it in like 15 minutes or something, like 20 minutes. So uh, let's see how far we get. Uh, naming and shaming security, because it works. Uh, that's what we do. Um, first, hello, it's me, Elger Stitch. Um, and uh, I uh, do things for MCH, uh, have uh, helped uh, with uh, founding Hack42, Hackerspace and Arnhem. Uh, they are building their own space now. They bought a building and they have their own space. Uh, a retro gaming organization in the past, uh, I did that uh, Awesome Retro um, and the Awesome Space in Utrecht. And that's basically it. And now one of the, the things that I do is the Internet Cleanup Foundation. We started this in 2016 with a few friends. Uh, currently, uh, it's Johan uh, Bloomberg, who's in the back. Um, uh, uh, Johan and I develop for this uh, platform a lot. Uh, Twan is the treasurer of the foundation, um, and I'm the chair. Um, so we started in 2016 with a very non-provocative name, File Card, Fill Your Map. Uh, it's just basically like a big fuck you to you're not doing it right. And that uh, was a nice introduction uh, in uh, security for uh, the targeted organizations, which were governments. So it was a, a way to yeah, get them moving. And it, it, it worked because um, um, we saw like, uh, we pub you, will, you will see the interface soon. Uh, we publish... Um, uh, very low tier security issues, like uh, kindergarten security, you can call it. Uh, if you cannot do that right, you, you basically cannot do anything right. So there's not a lot of organization that do it right. Probably we will do something wrong as well. It's always nice to be like, oh, you're doing it wrong as well. Yes, I am sorry. <laughs> uh, um, but we changed the name, we became a little bit more friendly. It's now Basisbeveiliging, uh, Baseline Security. Um, and we basically monitor the entire government for uh, kindergarten security. So um, all municipalities, uh, we do a semi-government like uh, healthcare, uh, hospitals, uh, provinces, uh, the, the entire like, uh, yeah, Rijk, Rijksoverheid. Um, and you, we give them colors. If they do it right, and they do everything right, they get a green color. And if they have like one issue, like they expose a version information of say, or they have TLS that's broken, or they are missing TLS, or they uh, have other uh, uh, small issues, uh, and then they can get orange or red. Um, and so you see, um, it's, a it's a lot of red. That happens because every time uh, the map starts coming green, which we have seen for a few cycles now, we add more. <laughs> so. <laughs> So uh, they, they love us for it. So we recently added uh, the new additions from Internet.nl, Security, TXT, and RPKI, and we set them to orange. So there's a lot of orange, and the first greens are starting to pop up, which is nice. Sometimes it's a measurement issue. Um, we rank them also. So this is the, the top uh, three of uh, uh, municipalities or municipal organizations. Uh, Groningen is uh, a technical issue. Uh, where uh, we are technically correct, which is the best kind of correct, but it's not really a security issue. So they have to do a small infra change and then they will fall off out of this top three. Then it's the uh, municipality of Amsterdam, which is huge. They have like an, an, an insane amount of domains. And then it's the Vereniging Nederlandse Gemeente, which is ironically the organization in charge of security for municipalities. <laughs> so, um, and to be nicer to them because they do a lot, lot of things right, like a lot of things right, uh, but they have one domain where they still have to do a few things and um, they know. So uh, I think probably next week they'll, they'll just do, do like this and they will fall out of the top three. Uh, we have like graphs over time, like numbers and how many vulnerabilities there are per vulnerability and, and such. So this is the VNG uh, example. They have this domain name VNG International, and uh, yeah, basically all of the issues are on that domain and not all of the rest. 
Um, you can see it here. So like uh, version exposure, you see security DXT is missing. Uh, you cannot email them in a secure way. Um, there's no trust in the certificate they use. Maybe it's expired. They use self-signed stuff. I don't know, but uh, it's all, <laughs> all one side. So, well. and also you see more more graphs. Uh, you can see two till one year in the past uh, how they did. There was a slight issue here with our systems, and then yeah, well, we fixed things and things are up and running again. So, what does this do? If you make security very very transparent, well. Um, tens of thousands of security fixes happened, which is awesome. Um, but most importantly, because it's in a, uh, presented in a way that people can understand, especially C-level people, they can see colors mostly, and uh, <laughs> they, have, they have like an allergy for red for some reason. They don't like the color red. So if they see their organization with a red color and yeah, the neighboring organization that does not have a red color, they are green, then they, they, they're like, we want to be green too. So suddenly the CP level people start to understand security for a little bit and then they give budget to the IT people that are already saying for years that there are things that should be fixed. So it's basically a shift in uh, uh, how, how uh, uh, it's basically a, a way to get a little bit of budget to actually fix things. Because the IT people know for years stuff has to change. So, um, so transparency helps a lot. So uh, there's a few updates. We I did a talk like in 2019. That's uh, been a while. Uh, we still have a somewhat of the same amount of organizations. We cleaned up a lot. Um, we monitor 90,000 domains, 1 million endpoints, and we have like 9.5 unique metrics in the database now. Samples taken every day is like one to two million metrics, so we measurement, so it's, uh, it's a lot. Mm. We, uh, <laughs> we removed the old and clunky Django front end and uh, uh, kicked, uh, kicked, kicked the Jinja templates and uh, replaced it with the JavaScript framework, which is uh, pretty nice. Uh, I feel young again, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, we, there, there have been a lot of maps added to the system, so uh, you can see all the uh, ministries, for example. You can compare the Ministry of Finance to the Ministry of Defense if you want. Um, <laughs> they are all equally, equally, equally red now. So, <laughs> <laughs> and we also uh, did something that is uh, like uh, we did like oh, we, let's hope it works, and uh, now we have insights in the quality of the data that we present, so if it's up to date or not. And you can see like uh, there's one or two metrics that are outdated, but 99.85% uh, is up to date, so that's good. Uh, we have a lot, of, a lot of graphs and, and stats of all the systems that we're running, uh, thanks to Johan. Um, we've got alerts on our own shit, so that's also nice. Uh, we also measure our own stuff, so it's also nice, eat your own dog food. Uh, the code coverage has been improved from 40% to 60 uh, that's for testing your own software. Basically, all the new stuff is tested, all the old stuff is like, it works. <laughs> so, uh, and every time you look at it, then you add a test to it. So, uh, The amount of metrics that we've added is, has grown, ex like, exploded. Um, these are the ones that we publish or publish very soon. So the, the stuff on the left was like DNS and such. Uh, I already said we added the new stuff for uh, security TXT for internet from Internet NL, uh, RPKI, um, the new security headers, um, and we were now working on. Uh, we have got a better running of third-party tracking, so Google Analytics uh, and other funny surveillance capitalism tools. That we can just see like uh, how how much it's that's in use, and it's it's a lot. Uh, we don't know how to grade it, but it will be high somewhere in the future. We, when it's introduced, it will be low or medium. But uh, yeah, it's um, and we we present like in the finding in the in the in the report of that thing is like, uh, oh, you're using this or this. If you want to have like visitor analytics, you can choose from one of these 20 vendors, which uh, which are all open source, which you can run your own, and you don't have to share your stuff with an American company. So. Um, the build time has uh, 
uh, and, and deployment time has been uh, decreased dramatically. Um, and that's a lot of fun because um, we can, if, if you have like an idea, you want to add an emoji, for example, it's like 10 minutes, it's live. So it's, uh, that's, that's nice. And we're also uh, replacing those stateful dreaded OSs. Uh, we are currently deploying, that's, that's Johan's uh, uh, thing. Uh, we are currently you're running on Ubuntu and Puppet, um, and we are replacing that with Nixos. Um, and that's a, it's a challenge. It's also uh, fun. So uh, we think that there's a future in NixOS. So uh, we try to, and, and, and we hope that it solves a lot of those issues with package updates and such. Um, we also added a small service. Uh, we are a foundation, so, um, but we have like memberships. And if you become a member of the foundation, specifically targeted for like organizations, like municipalities, so not the people in this room. So uh, then you get like Basis Beveiliging Plus. If you have a regression, you get an email uh, from, hey, uh, there's uh, something wrong. You can do something before the next time uh, the, the map is updated. Uh, we, have a, we are trying to build a community um, with IT specialists that are running all this stuff. So they can share the knowledge, share configurations, share what they're doing to uh, drastically reduce the cost of IT maintenance and IT security. So that's, that's the end goal. Uh, we believe that security should be free, like extremely cheap. And the goal is like to get a community and reduce costs and reduce costs and reduce costs and also reduce like the, uh, communi the, the membership fee, like which is now like 49 euros a month or so to basically zero. That's the goal. So. Um, some things behind the scenes. Um, we are using a bunch of tools. If you are doing the first day of pen testing, then you might know all of these. Uh, uh, it's like the basic hygiene set of, int of, of, of security tools. Um, there, there are like a million, a gazillion tools. Uh, we, we check what they can do, how they can help, uh, how much impact they have on society. And uh, based on that, we uh, select the next one, and the next one, and the next one uh, to add. Um, we use OpenStreetMap and Wikidata. Those are awesome systems to get these maps, to get the, the geo data into the system. And we read the uh, Dutch, uh, uh, what, Dutch uh, sources of websites. Like if you watched Arjen Lubach like two, week, two weeks back, uh, yeah, all of those domains are in there. Um, it's a lot. Um, if you want to follow uh, this, it's open source. You can uh, download the stuff. It's on uh, GitLab. It's a sponsor. They sponsor us with uh, unlimited builds and uh, like the uh, gold tier stuff. Um, we also are sponsored by Cobytes. They do the hosting. It's a lot. Oh, I see. They didn't finish the slide, but uh, they uh, they do the hosting. Um, and it's a very small machine. It's like 30 gig, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, 16 cores, 200 gig disks. Um, that's Today is a small server, um, I guess. Um, and mostly it's building the reports. That's the thing that takes most time, but the rest is just waiting for network traffic. The application is mostly waiting for network traffic and responses from uh, what we are measuring. So, um, oh yeah, one more thing. I always wanted to use this uh, phrase uh, because of uh, yeah, our, our departed friend, uh, Steve. Um, basis beveiliging is the first project from the hacker scene that made it into national security policy covering the entire Dutch government. <laughs> and that's, that's pretty cool. Are we insanely rich now? No. <laughs> um, so, but it does open doors. Uh, are we the government now? No, fuck no. Uh, there's a construction that calls, that's called a public-private partnership. We're the public part, the, uh, I mean the private part. Ah, the private part always sounds disgusting. Um, but uh, we work with the government. That's basically the way to, to, to tell it. Uh, the, the Centrum Informatie Beveiliging and Privacy Bescherming is the government partner. And it's funded by the national coordinator uh, against uh, terrorism and for security, for safety. I don't know the, the right relation. So basically, uh, the, fun the funding 
joke is always, we are fighting terrorism. So, but uh, I think it's more pro safety. Um, and they funded it. Uh, they funded it, and uh, yeah, we, are, we can run this for a few years, which is awesome. Uh, the most important thing is that it opens doors. So um, it's 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 a lot more legit now instead of just uh, to people in an attic that scan the internet, which is what it is. <laughs> uh, it's uh, <laughs> it is um, uh, in this booklet. And if you uh, dive in there, you can find uh, in the uh, uh, deep, 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 uh, you can see like uh, in pijler 1, doel 2, uh, zicht op digitale weerbaarheid van overheid en bedrijfsleven. Zie je, uh, there's a lot of uh, text over and there's, uh, there's basisbeveiliging. So, uh, which is awesome. Um, so that's basically the, the, the whole thing of this talk. I can show you the website if you want. Um, I want to thank our sponsors for making this possible. Uh, the SNDN funds which kick-started this project, which is, uh, we thank them a lot in 2016. Uh, Cobytes, the hoster, Sentry and GitLab for making the uh, development uh, a much easier and, and, and much pleasurable, uh, a, a lot of pleasure. Um, if you want to sponsor it, in a way, uh, for example, help build this community, uh, then you're uh, welcome to do so. Um, we have to always see like what we can do and that it does not become a commercial thing or your personal uh, look at uh, 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 your personal branding thingy. But um, yeah, there's always opportunities, of course. Um, last thing, uh, we're a foundation, uh, volunteering, still volunteering. Yes, there's a little bit of money, but we're still volunteering, working our asses off, uh, as we do and will do for the next years. Um, if you want to join, you can uh, uh, join via the super privacy-friendly service Discord. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, it's, a, it's a nice platform to at least uh, meet online and have video calls and share files and such. Um, if you uh, don't like Discord, you can always uh, ask for a Jitsi meeting or uh, send a mail. Or you can just talk for real, uh, for real, real. Um, we're looking for a lot of people to help out. Uh, we're currently uh, working with the DIVD um, to uh, uh, exchange information and to uh, uh, yeah, do, uh, 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 yeah, have a, a small uh, group like of people that uh, think on what should the tool do, what, what can it do next. Um, but uh, if you want to help out, for example, with the communication that we're doing, um, like if you like to uh, announce new maps that we're uh, deploying and uh, help out with preventing culture shock with organizations that are being scanned that are not aware that something that they might do something wrong. Uh, or you are a, a map nerd and you want to uh, map locations to domains. Or you are a hosselaar and you uh, like sponsoring and get sponsor in, sponsors in. Or, or you like parties and you want to just organize nice parties for a community like a, a volunteer organization. Uh, you're very much welcome. So please uh, talk to me afterwards. Um, and that's it for me for now. So. Okay, we have uh, time for two more questions. So if people have questions to uh, Elgar about this amazing initiative, then here we go. The uh, NCTV is involved financially. Yeah. Did yeah. they buy themselves influence? By influence, uh, no, oh. no. That's, that's, that's the beauty of a public-private partnership. The core of that is that there is no say of the government of what the uh, private organization is doing. So, of course not. Otherwise, I would, I would not agree with such a thing, ever. <laughs> so. Elger, yeah. uh, have other countries already shown interest because it's such a cool project? We try to find other countries. We do have an instance running in, uh, I always forget the name of the country, and that's ingrained. I always forget it when somebody asks this. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, so that's ingrained now. Um, we were in it? Huh? Bulgaria. Bulgaria. We run it in Bulgaria now, from the government as well. They have a instance running, but that's not a public instance. And that's something you know, we hope that they want to go public, but it's an entire different culture. Uh, we did try uh, running maps in the UK and Germany, um, but we did not find the volunteers to uh, handle the uh, amount of uh, uh, like, like the getting it, keeping it running. 
So setting up is not the part that's difficult. It's keeping it running and uh, deal with uh, uh, angry German emails, <laughs> for example. Okay. Oh, okay. Then uh, let's let's uh, let's talk. That's a lot of fun. I, that's my one of my uh, uh, personal uh, uh, end goals is to get a very angry email of somebody in high German. That's 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 that would be a lot of fun. So. Okay. Please give it up for Elger. Thank you so much. No problem.